I just thought I'd quickly share my thoughts on the latest Metallica album because a lot of people have asked me what I thought of it and um, I'll be brutally honest with you, it's possibly not as good as I thought it was going to be um, primarily because of a couple of things and I'll go through them before I know Metallica fans are going to kill me aren't they bearing in mind I'm a big Metallica fan too, I have all their albums I've, been, I've actually been listening to them longer than I have Megadeth now in recent years I've actually become more of a fan of Megadeth That's just seems, seems to be the way it's gone but it's not to say that I don't respect and admire what Metallica have done as great musicians and performers but this latest album I'm afraid is a little bit of a letdown from what I expected um, let me go down to the start of it the production of this album is not brilliant some people have pointed out that if you listen to it on earphones or you listen to it through various mixes that you get a lot of distortion or you, the instruments don't come across as clear as they should do now I can only assume that's down to production. I wouldn't assume it's to Metallica's playing. So I can blame only the production is, is shoddy of this album. Which is a shame because it's Metallica and you know they can do better probably. Now the actual track listings and the songs. I'm not going to go for every single one of them because I'll be here forever. It's a, it's about ten al songs long, ten albums long. Bloody hell, that would be a long album, wouldn't it? Never get through it. It's about 80 odd minutes long the album. So it's pretty standard for Metallica. They usually have about eight or ten songs. I mean, the Black Album was twelve, but that's just an exception. And I don't think you're ever going to beat the Black Album. It's just the way it goes. I'm afraid that was it. They reached their, I think they reached their pinnacle too quickly. And then again, it's all downhill from there. Having said that, the fans hated Load, and I liked Load, and I liked Reloaded as well. In recent years, that my favourite album they've done has been St. Anger. But, you know, let's get back to this album quickly because I'm going to run out of time boring them. We've all seen the album cover, it comes as no great shock. Not the most uh, interesting of ones, is it? I know what it's supposed to represent and what they're trying to get across, which is fine, it's just it's a little bit cliche for me. They might as well put the skulls on the front. Never mind. See, I'm going to get done for this, aren't I? No, I am. First track. Quite liked the first track. Uh, it initially started off the album quite well and I thought, well, a bit more of this is fine. But it's a little bit samey. But then again, it's a metal band, and Megadeth are a bit samey too. So you either love it or you hate it. So I can't really criticise them on that point, can I? Who am I to criticise them anyway? It's just my opinion. It doesn't mean anything. It's just how I feel personally. Um, the Unforgiven 3 I don't like at all. It hasn't got a patch on The Unforgiven or The Unforgiven 2. It, they don't even know if they say Unforgiven in it. I think maybe they do once. But it, it doesn't bear any relation to the other Unforgiven songs. It just hasn't got it. It's just missing something. I don't know. It's just missing, I don't know, a soul, a bit of a spark. It just seems shallow, that song. I'm sorry. I'm not impressed. The Judas Kiss I quite like. That's quite a good song. I like the riffs in it. I like the way the song progresses up and down. I kind of enjoyed that. And the way that he sings it, the way his vocals are arranged in the song, I think is very nice. So I, I quite enjoyed the Judas Kiss. They got a... Uh, an instrumental. Now, they haven't done one like this for a while. It's hailing back to, uh, what is it now? Master of Puppets, which I think was a Ryan on that, wasn't it? And that's brilliant. And there's one on Justice for All, which was great. And that's got the song One on it, which brings me back to this, which is The Day That Never Comes. Now, it is such a blatant rip-off of their own song One. Now, that song's brilliant, don't get me wrong. And this, as a standalone song, is great. But I just see too many similarities between one and that. They're trying to recapture what they had with and Justice for All with one. I'm afraid you can't do that again. It doesn't work. I mean, it once is enough, and that's not trying to be a pun. Then you should move on. Like in Saints Anger, they're taking a different approach. It, all their riffs, uh, stylization, the solos, the drum beat, everything else was completely different from what we expected of Metallica. Even the vocals were. I would say it was a lot more aggressive. But this seems to be trying to go back a little bit again. And I don't think it works, my opinion. I mean, I like the album, so don't get me wrong, and there's no way I wouldn't buy it. And I know Metallica fans are real die-hard ones, like Metallica fans. Metallica fans are like Metallica fans. Really? Yeah, sorry about that, I thought I heard something. I think it was myself talking to myself again. I do that a lot. What was I saying? Yeah. Metallica fans are as dedicated as Megadeth fans, so dare you say anything against either of those artists, I tell you, you will be shot on sight. So, I'm I tell you now, I'm a big fan of Metallica and Megadeth, so I won't say anything against them really, and if 
There's other Mega Death albums I could talk about. I could quite happily criticise aspects of them I don't like. But for this, I'll just say it's a very good album, and but it's not their best. Don't really want to elaborate any more on that, I said, because I'm going to get tons of complaints off people otherwise. Anyway, so that's me, that's Starscream, saying take care, and I think I'll have another beer now, because to be honest with you, uh, I might need it at the amount of abuse I'm about to get. Uh, take care, and uh, see you lot out there. <laughs>